Hey everybody, John with OWL, and if you're on the road, then you probably know what this is. This is a Starlink. In fact, this is the Starlink Mini, which I am pretty thrilled about because it's roughly the size of a sheet of paper, and I've had an in-motion high performance, which is probably about this much bigger, and realistically, I don't notice a difference. I'm sure if I put them side by side, there is a difference, but for everything I need on the road, this is plenty. Uh, even streaming 4K, Netflix, etc. in the middle of nowhere, it works great. It even works while driving, unlike some of the other dishes that tend to say you're moving too fast, etc. One of the nice things about the Mini is it is so portable, and so we didn't want to make a mount that makes you drill through your roof, etc. because you're probably going to want to move it from vehicle to vehicle. This is our new star mount. Now look cool? Kind of like... Uh, Star Wars, Darth Vader-y, and what we did is we put three, I don't know the proper pronunciation, Neridium, Neodymium. Anyway, they're super strong magnets, and they have this nice rubber plastic coating. We use this on different mounts, including the uh, Max Trax mounts, and these are magnetic that stick to a vehicle really strong. Uh, borderline difficult to get off, but the cool thing is you can now move this from vehicle to vehicle, so I'll show you how this works. This is a stock Starlink Mini mount that comes with the Starlink Mini. And you just bolt this through, quite simply, the center of this bracket. And then you can take your... I need like three more hands. Um, so then you can take this and you can plug in your power cable. And then you've also got a slot here. If you want, you can actually zip tie. So you can take a zip tie, send it up once you get this on so you want the cable to go right in that channel right there and then this just is the standard way that starlink goes in and then what you can do is feed this zip tie back through and then if you want you can actually zip tie that cable down so that it's not if the cord's ever pulled it's not actually pulling on the device which is nice uh, i'm not going to zip tie it right now but that's what that uh, little dual channel is intended for and now that you've got this cable on there this can be mounted uh, pretty much anywhere you can leave it on your vehicle while you drive any metal ferrous surface uh, the echo box obviously is not metal but the top of any sprinter van the top of a ford i've even done stuff like put it on the hood like that and you can absolutely drive that way you'll get signal it won't be an issue one of the things i will say is these magnets are so strong that when you take it off you definitely want to grab the the metal bracket not the starlink you can break the plastic so you want to get under there with the metal and lift off and i've actually done that a few times and you have to pull a lot harder than you think so these are our new starlink mini mounts it works for the sprinter it works great for the grenadier one of the things that i do with the grenadier that's kind of nice if you have a grenadier is i actually take it and i'll put it right dead center and then i'll run the wire so I put it dead center and then you can actually run the wire through your Safari window. So there's a gasket right here around the Safari window. So you can open the Safari window, run your cable through, plug it in and then shut your window while you drive. So it's really nice because then you can leave it there when you're camped. If you want to take it off later, you can. It's um, This mount is really dead flexible and, and dead simple to use. So that's the new Starlink mini mount. It's available now on our website as I climb down without killing myself. Uh, if you want to see more, <laughs> more videos uh feel free to join our join subscribe to our youtube channel hit the notification bell and it will tell you every time i have one of these amazingly produced gloriously exciting videos happy adventures <laughs>